Hey, what's up guys, Synapse here, and in this video I'm gonna show you some basic Adobe Premiere techniques. This is gonna be a very basic guide, but anybody can use this with any kind of video footage, including game footage, and that's what I'm gonna use here. In the next Adobe Premiere tutorials, I'm gonna show you some more advanced techniques. If you guys enjoy this video and you learned something, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and in the comments, let me know what you think. When you open up Adobe Premiere, you're gonna click on New Project, and I'm just gonna make a new project from scratch and I'm gonna select which folder I wanna save in. Next thing I gotta do is import the footage. It's gonna be a capture, let me find this footage. I'm gonna just drag this Bandicam uh, footage in there and I'm also gonna uh, drag this intro that I did in there. There's the intro, there's the main footage, and then if you have something like an outro or something else, you would drag that in as well. Or if you had like a bunch of PVP footage, you just drag it all in and get it in here. If you double click on it, you can preview the footage right here on the left side. Okay, the easiest way to do this, right click on one of your footage files and select new sequence from clip. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna make a new sequence or a timeline based off of your clip. And I'm gonna drag this footage in as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go to mute this track because I don't want the audio from there. I pre-recorded some audio that I wanna put in there. All right, so now I drop the audio down there. I'm gonna edit everything to match uh, my voiceover. Let's see what it sounds like. This is gonna be the second intro in the Battlefield series and I'm super excited for this one. And if I double click this box right here, I can see the waveform and I can actually make the waveform bigger. It's got all of the editing tools right here. So if you want to use the razor blade tool to cut right there, you can do that. And the selection tool to select the different frames. And I can del just delete this one. You can use keyboard shortcuts as well, which I really like. If you hover over these, you can see what the keyboard shortcut is. That one is V. So you can use the selection tool just by pressing V or the razor tool just by pressing C. And then this toolbar down here allows me to uh, zoom in and out. If I make this toolbar smaller, it just zooms me in. So I can see really fine resolution in terms of the timeline. And I actually want to start it about right there. So you can either do it like, you can delete the file and drag this over, or you can like delete the one you don't want and click on that space and press delete and it'll pull that back or you can do the entire process by selecting it and pressing shift delete so those are things that like make your workflow go faster those are really important in the case that you have like hours of video and what i'm going to do to make this look even cooler is i'm going to make it go really fast i'm going to change the speed so if you want to change the speed of something you can uh right click on it and go to um speed duration and I'm gonna make it play at like at least 200 to 300% speed. Let's see what that looks like. Another intro giveaway. This is gonna be the second intro in the Battlefield series. So what we need right here, because this footage is a little bit lack of excitement because there's not like a lot going on. All right, I'm gonna cut right there. And then I'm gonna cut right here because all that part is boring. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add uh, a battlefield to clip. Let me just add this uh, actual raw footage. It's really cool. So I just dragged two game footage files in uh, because I found that this one clip was just not enough. It was just like not enough was happening there. So I think I can do better. We can do better. Come on guys, we got this. Let's do this just like that. So I just dragged a clip right in. I'm just dragging like this clip up here. I can give it a different color so that we can see it. I'll label it purple. No, no, no. Let's label it red. What are all these colors? I don't understand these colors. What the F is mango? Okay, rose is close enough. Okay, we got this. I'm looking for a shot when they run in and it just looks like super badass. I think this is it right here. Like right here or something. Okay, so I just put this up on top. It's gonna like basically transition from me editing straight into some like gameplay. What I can do to like kind of smooth this over 
is like when the, the music transitions, I can also make the video transition. I can simply bring the transition, I can bring the opacity down. I'll make um, some keyframes. I'll make some points with a pen tool. I'll just like click a point right there and click another point right there. And as the music fades into like a new song, it'll also fade the video in. Let's see if this works. Comment saying you want to win this intro. Check it out. This intro. Nice, nice. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Let me make it a little faster. You want to win this intro. Check it out. This intro takes place in Battlefield 4 Operation Metro. And then I can just use these points right here to bring the opacity down and it'll transfer back into the editing part. But I thought this would be perfect for an intro giveaway. I made this entire intro on the live stream. All right, there it is. So now that I have the footage here, I can either render it out or I can take it into Adobe After Effects now to do the final edit. And then uh, I wanna play the intro right there one more time. So I'm gonna copy the intro from right here, select where I wanna paste it, select the layer that I want to paste it on like that. Make sure those are selected and then bam. That's the end. I'm just gonna delete this other video that shouldn't be there. Use the razor tool and then press V to select that and I can just delete it. So it should just go from there to there. And you could place like an outro or some other stuff uh, right over there. I could even drag this video down to this layer. It'd be like the same thing. So basically what we did here was we have three audio layers and two video layers. So what you do if you want to export it, you go to the file menu, you go to export, go to media, or just press control M. And here you're faced again with another challenge, the export settings. This part isn't the part that really messes up people because they, they want to go for those presets and just stick with the preset because they don't know what the settings mean. So what I like to do is I like to choose H264 if I'm going to export to YouTube. And uh, this offers to match the source at a high bit rate. That's really cool. So when it matches the source, uh, it's matching the width and the height. So it's matching the sequence really well. Here's something that's pretty devastating. Target bit rate, six and eight. This is not enough if you're gonna do Battlefield 4 footage. And I've got uh, a whole minute of, of, of real 60 FPS Battlefield footage in there. So this is not gonna be enough. Uh, what we want is to bump this up a bit. We could probably get away at, with setting it at like 15 and 30. Um, VBR, one pass. I think that would actually probably work for this. Um, if you really want to do something more, uh, you have 60 FPS footage, you could even go like 30 and 60. That will probably look much, much better. Well, it only lets me go up to 50. That means I have to choose, I have to go up here and choose a uh, high profile. And if I choose the high profile, it'll actually let me encode at a much higher bit rate. You want to know what I set mine at? This is what I set mine at. I go CBR 120 for 60 FPS. That's huge. That file is gonna be pretty big for YouTube, probably a little bit too big. Uh, but I use the handbrake method afterwards and I do a tutorial on how to handbrake your footage. I'll link that one in the description so you can see what the handbrake tutorial is like. And I actually learned this from the Call of Duty guys. This will make the quality of your video sh very sharp, very clean. Do the extra step, the handbrake step and do this. You'll be glad you did. But if you don't wanna do the extra step, then you're going to have to experiment with these bitrate settings. I'm just going to put it at something I know will probably work for you guys. You can go down to like 1525. It's probably still going to make a pretty good quality video, but uh, you might get some compression artifacts in there. Okay, so those are the settings right there. Always check your audio and make sure that the audio settings are legit. Here I've got the uh, audio set to AAC 4800. If you're going to handbrake it, you can even go up to 320 because handbrake will take care of the, the audio for you. You want to give handbrake the highest quality uh, possible, but 192 is probably good for anything anyway, but I like to give it a little more. All right, and then you click export and it goes. Okay, so this is the Adobe Premiere Pro method. I just made an entire video for YouTube in just a couple of moments. Um, so the workflow is pretty fast, pretty streamlined, not too many effects, didn't really do anything crazy. Craziest thing I did was uh, add 
some B-roll footage and add a transition using the point tool and just like, you know, adding a couple of points for opacity. All right, guys, that's it for this video. You guys drive the content for this channel. So if you like this video and you learned something, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Good luck and have fun.